acceptable for the West to have certain some some freedom of religion. That is, that will be fine. We will that kind of equilibrium. We will we will preserve. That was that was their thought. And uh, churches were opened, mosques mosques were opened, but um, very few believers at that time attended services. Very few, very few. But later on, especially in late 80s and early 90s, people started to, to, to go in on the more, I would say, I would say more a nationalistic way. And, uh, and uh, uh, they, they started to be uh, hungry of having something that they were prevented from. Not prevented from that somebody will say, you, sh you, you, if you go, you will go to jail. No. But the general atmosphere was, uh, was, was, on, was, was, was on that way. The general atmosphere. And suddenly, when all chains, when, all, uh, 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 when, when, when anything, anything that will suppress religion uh, was broken away, then they started, uh, uh, they started imme immediately to fulfill churches, mosques, etc. I wouldn't say that uh, I, I wouldn't say that uh, that religion that religion had uh, that much uh, that much influence in in uh, in, the, in the division in the division and uh, and uh, uh, during the, the during the war in, in in Bosnia. But of course, at the same time, uh, uh, all three factions. Uh, uh, used to claim that they are that they are very much they are Catholics they are Orthodox they are Muslims and uh, that was the that was the characteristic but uh, I wouldn't say that uh, I wouldn't say necessarily that that had a huge impact on 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 uh, on it huge not definitely some might be. Um, you expressed the need to better take into account differences in crisis and culture. Um, do you see a need for UN peacekeepers to do this better in order to be more successful? Sure. Sure. Uh, we, uh, we had a discussion at the UN uh, uh, Finnish mission organized that uh, several months ago, and uh, we discussed uh, that, and I, I also uh, mentioned uh, during the discussion that uh, uh, peacekeepers who are who are to be sent to the certain region and crisis have to pass certain uh, education short one but to know uh, main habits of the people on the ground main outlines of the religion if they are not familiar with, and also the the way, uh, and also about about the crisis, what is uh, what is good to be said, what is good to be avoided to be said uh, uh, while uh, encountering uh, uh, the, the domestic people, definitely. And if 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 they or or if they even even try to to, to learn several words of of of, uh, of language that will that will add even more confidence of, of the people in definitely if they are better prepared, I think uh, uh, even twice or three times uh, uh, more will be the benefit uh, on the ground uh, for uh, for for that peacekeeping, sure. Regarding your answer, um, some of those places have like multiple ethnicities. Wouldn't if you start understanding the culture, you might favor one of them. Well, if you if you favor one of them, uh, then uh, uh, you you will be definitely uh, a failed peacekeeper and a failed uh, and a failed uh, failed uh, moderator mediator or whatever you try to do to facilitate things on the ground. It's the best recipes for disaster. And uh, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if person chosen for uh, or person designate finds uh, himself or, or their uh, 
authorities, uh, higher authorities find that uh, such a person is expressing such a thing, uh, I think it's better to be, to be removed. That, that will be my, my uh, absolute uh, uh, recommendation. I just have a comment and a question. My first comment is on the gentleman's question about religion being suppressed. Um, I'm actually Albanian, and my dad grew up in, in Roja's regime. And my grandma has a copy of the Quran that she has kept with her since the day she was born. So I guess the way you relate it is kind of like banned literature in the United States. Like, Catcher in the Rye wasn't allowed to be taught in school, and it was also considered banned literature. But that doesn't mean that people still didn't have access to it. And that's kind of how I relate it to my mind. But my question is, um, what has been uh, more of a successful um, in maintaining order and peacekeeping in Bosnia and Herzegovina? Was it, would you say NATO or the United Nations? Well, uh, uh According to the peace accords being signed in, uh, in, uh, in, in 1995, it was given to NATO. What, will, what would happen if the UN was, uh, was uh, entitled to do so? It could be just a clue. I couldn't say, because there, there is no... Uh, if, you, if you want to compare what the UN troops were doing on the ground from 92 to 95, with what NATO did afterwards. It's very hard to compare because there were quite different mandates. You couldn't, uh, you couldn't compare that because, uh, because uh, 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 the authority, uh, uh, the authority that, uh, that uh, UN troops had from 92 to 95 was a very, very limited one. The authority given to NATO, absolutely uncomparable with that. How UN troops will, will, will provide a, a better or worse or the similar performance, we may just guess. I'd like to go back to your analogy between the Balkans and Iraq. And uh, the title of your talk is Lessons Learned. I'd like to know what you think lessons are that we've really learned in terms of the need for outside peacekeepers. I wonder if you see a role for the United Nations in getting us out of this mess in Iraq. Well, uh, you know that uh, when, the, when the real crisis started, uh, even though that I couldn't say too much nice about Saddam Hussein's regime at all. But when the crisis started, uh, UN uh, were not a player. And now, uh, now we are facing the crisis that erupted so fiercely that uh, something has to be done outside. And I think that the international community should try, United Nations, if all sides agree, to see if certain moderation and mediation could be, could be started with somewhere outside Iraq to try to, to, try to, to find common ground. To see, I think, first meeting, if, if, if happens with all factions, will be a huge success. And later on, that could be a foundation where, where things could be, could be built on. But uh, uh, I, I, at the same time, I mentioned when I compared the Balkan pictures, uh, picture, and especially Bosnian picture, with, uh, with Iraq, it was quite different. In, in Bosnia, People lived together, and then uh, then started started, started uh, the, the the interethnic war within the country, and then the arrangement was found everywhere were in the similar arrangement in the in the same uh, time frame. There you have Kurds virtually independent since '91. That means almost all, more than 15 more than 15 years, 
and uh, you